Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to talk to you about one of the most essential pieces of hardware that you can get if you play double bass. If you're a metal drummer or a rock drummer, you need to make sure you get one of these right away. On my hi-hat stand, I'm using what's called a drop clutch. It's just like a standard clutch you would use on your hi-hat, except as its name implies, you can drop the top hat. This one is made by Gibraltar, and to operate it, you would just push this lever down, and then this piece drops. Some manufacturers, they make theirs a little different. The lever goes in towards the pipe, but the premise is exactly the same. It allows you to very quickly drop the hi-hat or actually open it up again. To open it, you would just push down on the hi-hat pedal. So why is this so important? Well, as you saw in the intro, I can use this to open or close my hi-hats in the middle of a song. Once you're able to do this, it's going to open up a whole new soundscape for you. A lot of drummers, when they start playing double bass, myself included, I didn't know about a drop clutch. So I would always have my hi-hats closed the whole time or open the whole time, or I would just give up and only ever play double bass on the ride. It's really limiting. And once you use the drop clutch, there's a lot more stuff that you can do. Now you might be thinking, well, maybe I'll just open the hi-hat or close the hi-hat in between songs and trade off like that. The drop clutch is still going to do you two favors in this case. One, if you play out a lot, you know you don't have a lot of time between songs. And so the drop clutch will speed up that process. You could be opening the hi-hat with your foot while you're grabbing yourself some water. The other thing is consistency. Every time you open the hi-hat with the drop clutch, it goes to exactly the same spot. There's no finagling to get to just the right amount of opening with your hi-hats. Now, if you're interested in seeing the drop clutch used in real songs and not just in this quick little sample that I did, then in the description, you'll find links to two videos that demonstrate this. So what hardware do you find essential? Leave a comment and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.